In this video, I'm back on the West Coast. Ah, fiddlesticks. So, yeah, could be better. Um, back on the West Coast, what a contrast. Spent a week on the east side of the mountains here on the South Island, and it was t-shirt weather all week. Now I'm having to wear a hoodie. I've got my heater on in the corner. It's pouring with rain. It is really quite cool and unpleasant. However, um, my um, Airbnb is, um, I think, particularly pleasant. Um, it's got a nice arty vibe, it's very stylish. Um, being slightly ruined by my um, New Zealand slippers. Um, but um, look, they've even got a snack bar, the buggers. They're tempting me. I've got this temptation just sitting here, all this chocolate and um, beef noodles. I don't need their beef noodles, but I have my own chicken soup with noodles, I think. That's going to be my dinner tonight, keeping it nice and simple, because you can't keep eating out every night. But, you know, I've got all my cunt, I've got, even got a hob up there, uh, various cereals, no wheat bix. I don't know, it's like broken biscuits or something. I might have to explore what these are. They're most peculiar. Yeah. Distinctly biscuity with a hint of sugar puffs as a flavour. I think I'm going to enjoy breakfast tomorrow. I probably won't film it because I'm not itchy boots. But um, yeah, got um, a toilet as you'd expect. Nice little bathroom. Uh, there is a shower. I'll show you how powerful the shower is. Because uh, it's... it's um, yeah. Pretty. Pretty powerful. Um, Kiwis do like a decent shower, it turns out. So, um, yeah, I haven't really been all that disappointed by Kiwi showers. So, not a day for doing very much. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm taking it easy. I'm indoors. Been watching a bit of Skid Factory and Cletus McFarland. And then doing some video editing. I'm editing episode 28. Um, that's where I drove from Invercargill to Milford Sound and then on to um, Arrowtown. Um, it was over 300 miles. Um, in one day on roads which weren't really conducive to covering mileage and it's the start of me really starting to break myself so I'm pleased to say I'm now much further on from that and feeling um, much better in myself despite the attempts at the west coast weather and it's set to stay like this for most of the week I think rather depressingly um, but yeah I'm cracking on with the editing getting back into the swing of things doing a video every few days and um, just um, editing when I feel like it and not forcing myself to do anything. So um, trying to allow myself some sort of rest because I still feel really tired. This trip really has taken out it out of me and we're now into the eighth week. So um, yeah, certainly been something to remember, but this is probably enough waffling. It's certainly enough rain. I'm going to get back to the edit suite and tomorrow morning I start working my way further up the West Coast. Will there be... Any break in the weather? We'll find out here on Hubnut. Oh gosh, this really is the edge. Not a bad way to start your um, week, is it really? What do you reckon, Betty? My well travelled Ford Fairmont up to 5,000 kilometres now on this trip. <sighs> so, just had a pilot vehicle come past saying uh, watch out for a wide load. Um, yeah, they weren't wrong. That is a moving house.
that day. Dolomite well, point blowholes. Blowholes in your dolomite, not usually a good thing, but um, perhaps things are different here. Certainly a pleasant spot. These are the pancake rocks, apparently. I wonder if they're called that because of, you can see the sediment layers. Right, see if we can find the dolomite blowholes or whatever they were. Well, I don't think the tide's quite right for actual blowholes blowing. What a remarkable landscape. go for a swim in that. But yeah, remarkable efforts built in to make this accessible. And this is not an easy landscape to build bridges and um, walkways in. Yeah, so normally I think that would be a blowhole there, but I think the tide's just a bit too low. So worth stopping for. Big old wave. Beautiful. The way the waves have carved these rocks. Just breathtaking. It's been a lovely morning, but I fear we are starting to lose the weather. Uh, it's not looking quite so glamorous now. Clouds rolling in. The hilltops are disappearing once more. Oh, there's a wecker. Oh no, it's not a wecker, it's the other one. Puka hay or whatever they are, I've got a tea towel with them on. But nonetheless, disaster was avoided, it didn't get squashed. But yeah, we'll push on and see what else we can extract from the day. Whoa, Denniston was worth it just for the roads. All of the wiggle. That requires a certain amount of care in this car. I'm not the only one having fun on this road. Don't want to fall into that gully, blimey. to work before there were motorised vehicles. That's 
suppose you would have lived there, wouldn't you? You wouldn't have travelled at all. We should get some epic views on the way back down, but we've um, run out for now. It's a bit of a desolate spot, especially in this cloud, but one of the things here is the gradient of the railway. Um, it doesn't go very far, but you can still see it just plunges off the edge of the cliff. It's um, quite remarkable. It's one of the steepest that ever existed. There's it back in the working days. So it just plunges down the hillside. Must have been um, quite horrendous. Um, but um, I did wonder whether there was anything going on up here. But I mean, the signage is terrible. So it's very unclear what's going on, if anything. Um, some signs over there, but clearly there is work going on here. There is some restoration work that has been occurring up here. Uh, see, we are right up in the clouds. Um, very interesting spot. But yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's anything touristy happening here or not, or if there are guides or anything. Um, it's looking like rather not. Maybe it's all just been completely abandoned. But nonetheless, we'll have a mooch around and see what we can see. Okay, we're not going to be going that way. Um, oh, if this cloud just lifts a bit, it'll be monumental. Let's see if this path goes somewhere useful. I mean, those stairs look quite purposeful, don't they? poison are plenty. They do have big issues here with um, possums and um, stoats and other creatures that were stupidly introduced by idiots over the years and uh, are slowly sort of taken over. So um, yeah, there's a lot of controversy about that. Some people are not very happy that they're poisoning wildlife because usually if you poison one creature you end up poisoning a load more. So uh, yeah, tricky times in New Zealand. I wonder where the hell this is going. Oh, I see. This is where the camp was. Uh, I'd say nature's reclaimed it, to be honest. The, is that a barbecue? It's not looking very healthy. No, I think it's actually an upside down wagon. Strange place. The Banbury mine. And up there, the tramway. You see the bridge going across. One hell of a slag heap. Different times. But you never thought you'd be on YouTube, mate. I'm going to carry on walking. Oh, this looks safe. Oh, maybe the path doesn't go any further. No, that's starting to look like really not a path. So, um, there we go. What a strange place. I guess I'll walk back then. Can you see? That's Wecker. <laughs> Come on. They have no fear of humans. Because they've never needed to be fearful of humans. Oh, I scared him. <laughs> Maybe slightly fearful.
Well, that was unpleasant. I got very much caught out by the weather. So I think I'm going to rule out any further exploration. Uh, I'm going to have to change my trousers because I'm soaked. So um, I'll spare you that horror because I know my knees cause much upset. And uh, yeah, we'll go and try and find some lunch, I think. The view is just starting to clear from the clouds. See straight back along the coast we drove along on the way here. It's a very large river we went across a bridge. We wasn't filming at the time. But, yeah, I think this descent is going to be hard on the old brakes. Well, I've stopped for lunch in Westport and I finally managed to get a Honda Crossroad nearby. Uh, I think these look fantastic. Uh, far better than the Discovery with um, Land Rover, sorry, Land Rover Discovery with Honda badges on it. I think that's an ace looking thing. Very distinctive styling, but it's raining, I'm miserable. I'm going to go to my hotel. Uh, I'm in the commercial hotel tonight, so. Um, Let's go and see how commercial it is. So where I'm staying tonight is Murchison, which um, has some interesting things dotted about. Uh, this is in the car park of where I'm staying tonight. I'm staying in this um, bit of a shack um, type hotel, but you know, it's an old Bedford wrecker. But there's a Morris Oxford Series 2, I think, over here. Oh yeah, that looks like it's been sat here a long time. Oh gosh, it's even got the keys in it. You can't really imagine that in the UK, can you? Oh, there's Betty parked up in the corner. Let's go and see what else we can find. An old Morris. Uh, dust and rust, vintage store. That explains a lot, a big old um, Kenworth. Uh, wood lorry there. Studebaker? I think so. Well, it's closed now, but oh yeah, because I've got some stuff sitting about an old Austin. Quite remarkable. I'll tell you, it's a high ace there as well. Used to be a common sight in the UK, and they've all um, pretty much vanished. Slightly different headlock treatment. But yeah, this is uh, Murchison itself. If you can see there, next to the um, Honda, there's um, a Ford Falcon XR. That's the sporty version of Betty, the quad lamp um, head Oh, that's different. But uh, yeah, this is. Murchison, I don't think there's an awful lot of it, to be honest. Uh, I'm just going to have a bit of an explore because I feel the need to stretch the legs. Again though, the bird song is quite remarkable. But I think I'd better wind this one up for now. Um, so um, yeah, we've got one more day left um, touring South Island. Today is Monday. Tomorrow is the last touring day, which will get us through Nelson, where a lot of cars were produced. Meant to be quite a nice town. Uh, we'll go and stay near um, Picton before heading back to uh, Wellington. Uh, should be nice. There's a noisy critter. Good old sing song on his pole. So, um, yeah, it, it almost feels a bit final. Um, I don't feel quite ready yet. I don't feel I've seen all that South Island has to offer, but time has run out and that is very much the nature of it. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and uh, I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Farewell. No pachu, just a beautiful view.